this video is going to show you how to attach your investor carrot website into your Podio system. Uh, there's a couple different ways you can do it, um, and I will explain that process. So, in your investor carrot website, you can change your admin email, meaning all of your forms will then get sent into Podio, um, all inside whichever app you choose. I don't think that's probably the way you want to do it, um, unless you only have one or two forms and they all are lead generating forms and they all go into Podio. Uh, it looks like with the main site, unless you change too much, it looks like about 11 forms come with each website and they all are kind of different. Some of them are sign up for your cash buyers list um, and then some of them are like actual lead generation type forms. So depending on what you want to do, uh, there's two different ways to go about it. Um, I'm in your tutorials under the forms and leads, updating a form email notification. This is where it descriptively tells you how to change who gets notified when a form is submitted and you can narrow it down by each individual form. If you are interested in taking all of your forms going into one email address, all you have to do is update your email, your admin email, and it updates it on all of your forms. So this tells you how to do that. Um, again, I'm going to go one by one and show you how to do it. So you can just pause this if you wanted to do it that way. But to do it one by one, basically we go into your account, you pick the website that you're interested in, and go to the content. Then from here, under content, you click on forms. And again, this gives you the forms that you're interested in. So here's five different forms on this website. Contact us, detailed submission form, this is probably one you might be interested in and doing. So what you do is you hover over it and you hover over settings and then you go down to notifications. And so what I'm doing is I'm going to change just that form who gets notified. I'm not going to change any of the others unless you want to do the others. You have to do one by one individually. But for this one I'm going just that one and you can hover over the admin notification and sometimes they have a customer notification and that's like the the email that gets sent to the customer. That's not the one you're interested in. You're interested in the admin notification. All you have to do is hit edit and it's super simple where it says who it's sending the email to you can either delete that out and put in your email to at Podio item or put a comma and add in your Podio, your Podio email item. Um, it's really just that simple. So now what this is doing, this is sending an email to your admin email as well as uh, the same email goes into Podio. So you get notified of it both ways. If you don't care and your email's getting junked up, then delete this out and just send it into Podio um, if, if that's the way you want to do it. So to get this email notification, all you have to do is go to your acquisitions app or whatever app you, wanna, you want it to go into. Um, let's see, we'll go to acquisitions. Click on the wrench and click email to app. You take this down here, copy, and paste it right where you want it to go. And then all you have to do now, because the email is already all set up, it's all the information that you want, gives you your fields, your lead source, it gives you everything that you want, and you just hit update notification. So that's one way to do it. Um, let's see, we can go back here and edit the notifications. Another way to do it is you can just add a new notification and basically copy what that admin wants. So say we didn't want to just quickly add the email, you wanted a whole different notification into Podio. You would just fill this out. You would put your Podio email there, put from Investor Care at site, um, you could put whatever you want in the subject line, whatever you want in the message line using Investor Carrots website. You can drop in the field token, all the submitted fields. You know, you can you can 
add in whatever text or whatever information you want otherwise. So that's the two ways to do it. Um, I think the easiest is just to add the email and keep the email the same, but you know, do what you want to do. It's up to you. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching this video. Oh, I'll show you. Hold on a second. I'll show you what it looks like. So I did one to test it out and it just comes right in to your email. Here's your email body. It just said all uh, filled out fields and so it gives me the field and their answer. I've got their email. I've got the form page where I can click on this and it takes me straight to the form page. Um, and then I guess that was the lead source. That was one of the fields that was in the admin email. So there you go. That's all it is. So now you got a new lead in Podio. Tagged it with whatever follow up you have fired and off when you have a new lead. Come through, update it. Um, update it however you want and make sure you tag your lead source where it came from. You might have to add a campaign for your Investor Carrot website and you are good to go. Thank you very much.